In 2017, Apple has skewed Touch ID for Face ID in all of their flagship devices, and they haven't turned back since. Since then, Android manufacturers have experimented with Face ID-like systems, but instead have opted for underscreen fingerprint sensors as the main solution. Now, you could have your own preferences, but Google decided they're going to one-up everyone by announcing a phone that has basically both. Now, Face ID-like systems have existed in Android before. It's not new to Android, but for the most part, you either have a similar sensor array to what iPhones have, or you have basically what's just a picture, and comparing that picture against historical pictures that you've taken of yourself, which isn't the most secure, considering that hypothetically it can be duped. With the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, Google took a different approach. Instead of using one flat picture of yourself, they instead basically take a video equivalent to get a three-dimensional image of your face, an effective three-dimensional image, and they check against that. We don't have the full details, but supposedly it's substantially more secure than Face Unlock on Android beforehand, and a lot of other Android manufacturers. Well, there was a lot of coverage on this, but specifically the coverage centered around the fact that you still cannot make payments using Face ID on your Pixel 7 Pro. If most of the time you use the Face ID-like system is just to unlock your phone and not to make payments, and then the only time you need to use Touch ID or a fingerprint sensor is for payments, then it should be a great solution. And so I wanted to see just how good the face unlock system is on the Pixel 7 Pro, and I wanted to see if I can trick it. Now, this experiment has been run several times on basically the iPhone X on, so I doubt that I'll be able to trick the iPhone 14 Plus into logging in without an actual face. But we'll see if the Pixel 7 Pro can do just that. Here's me, looking all cheesy, okay? Um, we'll turn up the brightness to make sure that it's a very bright scene and hopefully we'll be able to see whether I can trick it. So let's go ahead. Let's, uh, how am I going to do this? Okay, we will we'll make sure to zoom in so it's as close to actual size of my big head as possible. That's pretty close, right? Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay. Um, we will go ahead like this. We'll hide behind it. And let's see if we can dupe the Samsung. Samsung. Unlock. Yeah, you know it's me. Come on, it's me. Look. It's me. In OISO. Okay, uh, face doesn't match. That's what it says. It's me in OISO. Nope. I can feel it vibrate when it fails, so. <laughs> it's really... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, uh, I feel like I did, okay, yeah, so it stopped working because I failed so many times. So it doesn't look like I can trick it. Let's see if I can trick it in the easier mode when it's less secure. And I will say uh, faster recognition. So I will see if faster recognition it works better. It's still locked, come on. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Okay, I think, yeah, it stopped, <laughs> it stopped working. Okay, maybe I need another photo. Maybe I will be able to trick it with a different photo. All right, here we go. It's me, right? Looking a little bit more stone-faced in this one, which is a more resting face for me. Okay, let's see if I can trick Samsung. Again, it's in the unsecure mode. That's it. <laughs> That's my face. Okay. Again, stone cold. Samsung, I'm gonna trick you. I swear I'm gonna trick you, Samsung. <laughs> Just watch, Samsung. You you wait and see. I'll get you. I'll get you, come on. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it looks a little bright, right? So let's dial back, back the brightness a little bit. So I removed some of the exposure, so now I can bring up the brightness. And my face looks a little bit more patchy. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. <gasps> did you, did you see that? I got it, I got it to work. <laughs> 
You saw that, right? Like, I'm not crazy. That worked. Like, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if I can get it again, right? Lightning striking twice, right? Come on. It didn't get me, right? No, it didn't get me because it can't get me from this angle. Oh, <gasps> I got it again. I got it again. Okay, okay. <gasps> yes, I got it. Okay, okay, it works. Okay, so now let's try turn off faster recognition, right? Oh no, <laughs> tree no, tree no. Faster recognition is off. So this should be the more secure method of unlocking, right? Faster recognition is off, right? So let's see, can I trick it now? <gasps> I got it. Did you see that? I got it, right? Like I got it, right? Like y'all saw that, right? Okay, maybe another time. Faster recognition is off. That's it, right? Not there. That's it. All right, locked, locked, right? Everyone can agree that is locked. <laughs> I got it. All right, let's see now if I can dupe the Pixel 7 Pro. This experience is a lot more like the iPhone experience, where instead you actually tilt your head around a little bit. Um, whereas for Samsung, you just kind of look at it and it unlocks. Let's lift it up. Too many attempts, face unlock disabled. Let's try again. All right, locked. Nope. 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 Okay, let's try a different picture. Stone face. Here we go. Nope. Too many attempts. Okay. Nope. Nope, wait, hold up, let me turn off. Okay, so it's locked, I look at it, it's unlocked, right? Okay, we can all agree on that. All right, is the Pixel more secure? There's a picture of myself, there we go. Nice little grin on there, YouTube grin. Okay, here we go. Not recognized. It doesn't vibrate like the last one. Come on. It's me. Look at Pixel. It's me. I think it gave up. Too many attempts, yep. Okay. Okay, maybe it's like, Now it unlocks. Not recognized, still not recognized. Let's get it nice and close. Is it, is it working? Okay, too many attempts. Okay, is it working now? 
Yes, okay. Nice and close. Nope. Okay, now I'm going to try my OnePlus 10 Pro. Let's turn on face unlock. We'll enroll it. <laughs> I was hardly ready. It like barely took a picture of me in the very bottom corner. If there's any device that I can dupe, I would think it was this because this one seems to be way, way too fast. It's me. Oh, did it get it that time? I think it got it. I think I got it. It worked. Oh my gosh, I got through. <laughs> it took me really a long time, but I think I got through. Okay, come on, how did I do that? I could have sworn I, I got it, right? Like y'all saw that, right? I got it. I, got, I had to have gotten it. All right, it's time for the Hail Mary. Can I trick face ID? Uh, face ID. Look, it's me. It doesn't like that. It doesn't like that. I'm so glad that ended up working out because halfway through it, I'm like, oh crap, I'm not going to be able to prove anything. Is one test subject enough to prove anything? Absolutely not. Generally, I would love to see other YouTubers or other big tech websites covering just this and seeing if they could have the same results with new people. But in my own closed experiment, it seems like the Pixel 7 Pro's face unlock system is more secure than that of other Android phones. And at least in my view, probably is secure enough for me to trust it for unlock. Google seems to be doing more than just creating one single image and checking against that image like we've expected Android manufacturers to do in the past. They seem to be adding more to it. What that is, I'm not quite sure, but notably, it seems like Face ID doesn't necessarily need all of these massive amount of sensors in order to work. It seems like maybe just one camera sensor could be hypothetically possible for a secure Face ID. I'm sure Google has its own internal metrics on just how secure Face Unlock on the Pixel 7 Pro is, and it's probably not as secure as the Pixel 4's, considering you can't use it for, for payment systems, but you could on the Pixel 4. But generally, it's up to you on whether you feel safe enough and secure enough to be able to use a Face Unlock system on the Pixel 7 Pro, which, in my experience, seems to be more secure and it seems to be a big improvement. Thank you for watching in OISO. I hope you like this quick experiment on the Pixel 7 Pro's unlock system and the face unlock system. If you did, be sure to get subscribed to see my full review of the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel Watch, which are both coming soon. Thanks for watching in OISO, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.